Alright, so we're checking out the only game where if you let the wrong person into your apocalypse bunker, they will end up killing you, turning you into a meat stew, and also somehow forcing you to pay child support. It's episode. More apocalyptic child support, damn it. Episode is a game where people can make various stories about love and relationships. We're not doing that. I want to play only the most screwed up stories and pick the worst answers and see what happens. I have found a story today about letting various people into an apocalypse shelter and seeing what happens based upon your decisions. That's way different than the normal teen pregnancy in the game, so I figured what the hell? There's only one man who could fall into debt even after the apocalypse. It's Florida Man. Or is it? Is there no limitation to how long your name can be in this game? Imagine a world of darkness without Bud Light or felonies. It would be like Florida if Florida was more like Canada. I hope that I can get murdered. That's just the first name. Do I get a second name too? Oh God. I can only have 64 letters. All right, I tried to fit the most important things in there. So I got Florida man, Bud Light and child support. I'm the only Florida man that never gets to go outside because I'm always busy making YouTube videos. Uh, yeah, light. Actually, you know what? That's pretty good too. Mm, hairstyle. We need an appropriate Florida man hairstyle. Ah, the bowl cut, boy bun, circa early 90s, kid and play. I'm really looking for something that screams, I just woke up in jail. That would work. Yeah, let's do it. Deep set, gentle, yeah. Sloping, innocent, totally appropriate for Florida man. Actually, can I re completely remake Florida man from The Sims? Where's my house is on fire red. Okay, that's roughly it. I like how the face shapes are athletic, chiseled, and bruised. <laughs> God, it's perfect. Get these slightly dazed mouth look. Yeah, he looks perfect. Like every Florida man, our day starts out by us writing in our diary. It's been 415 days since the apocalypse started. Damn it, my child support can't even fit on the screen. So Florida man just said that he's been alone the whole time. Not alone alone, but then he says I need to find a real female soon. I can't wait to see what sort of female Wilson he made out of a coconut. Florida man goes, I need a woman to procreate with. Not an old can of soup that randomly started talking to me 200 days ago. This makes the fact that he's gotten the sh kicked out of him even better because he's having a domestic dispute with a can of soup. I mean, we've been in a relationship for 200 days. That's like the longest relationship a Florida man's ever been. What the hell was that? Okay, so I'm in the apocalypse shelter looking like I just got the hell beaten out of me, which is appropriate for the apocalypse. And then a hot unblemished woman wearing camo pants shows up at my door. You know what? I'm not asking any questions. Okay, okay, come on in. <laughs> Thanks for taking me in. Listen, Brie, I know this looks bad, but the can of soup looks worse. Nice place you got here. Aside from all of the potential lockjaw, it's been so long since I've seen a female. Oh, I'm glad we were thinking that. What am I supposed to do? Compliment her, offer to show her around to attack her. Give me your camo pants, bitch. Yeah. Oh, we have the baseball bat. What do you think you're doing? Why does my mouth keep disappearing? You ever seen the Deadpool in that crappy Wolverine movie? That's me and you're Wolverine. <laughs> Give me your money. Dude, put it away. She's taking this really well. But I just gave up. I know we both just met, but I think we know I'm better off alive. I don't know. I mean, your tank top would look great on my can of soup. I haven't talked to a real female in years. I know the apocalypse has only been around for like 475 days, but it was a while before that too. I like how he's like, I'm not sure how I meant to act. So the first thing that came to my mind was beat her to death with a baseball bat. That's what my parents taught me. All right, so anyway, here's the tour. Uh, you've already seen where I keep the baseball bat. The clock never changes past 2 p.m. since we haven't had power in a year and a half. Have you been alone this whole time? Define alone. You poor thing. Are you serious? This girl's taking this really well considering I tried to Louisville slugger her head the first thing after we met. I bet you have a lot of tension you need to release. Is this immediately going to sex? This game is all about teenage pregnancy. I couldn't even get away from it trying to beat someone to death. Is she flirting with me? This is episode. She's either flirting with you, cheating on you, or she wants to kill you and take your stuff. I really must thank you for welcoming me into your bunker. She's gonna kill us. It's total chaos out there. Man eat man world. You're not actually gonna turn me into soup, are you? 
This text has me slightly concerned. You mean dog? No, her words were very specifically chosen. If there's not cannibalism in this game, I'm gonna be really disappointed. No, I mean, man, food supplies are low. People are desperate. Yep, there it is. Hey, um, Bree, real quick, when's the last time you've had anything to eat? So people are eating each other? Afraid so. I like how she looked so coy when she answered that. She's like, yeah, that's what I hear anyway. That's how I lost my pinky toe. Out of all the body parts that you could lose in the apocalypse, how the hell does someone bite off your pinky toe? Gross, no offense. Why did we just zoom in on the- Is it your toilet? Yeah, my aim is just really good. Do you mind if I don't touch it? That's Michelle, you bastard. Why don't you lie down? <laughs> I'm sure you must be very tight. Sounds like a good idea. Once I've had a rest, maybe we can talk more about survival and reproduction plans? This is the most amazing way I've seen to stay monetized on YouTube in my life. What is your game about? Reproduction? I'm really keen to save the human race with you, if you're interested. Oh god, Michelle's getting jealous. Sorry for not introducing you. I just didn't want her to get the wrong idea about us. This guy has a full conversation with this can. Can't you just be grateful I stopped her from sh you? <laughs> the next day, girl shows up at the bunker with a gun, says let me in. You know what? Sure. I've been alone for almost two years and suddenly two females just show up at the apocalypse bunker. Finally, I'm gonna get some action. <laughs> what do you want me to tell her? Tell her to come right in. That's twice as much food. Again, ask who she is, ask what she wants, just invite her in. Actually, you know what? What does she want? There's zombies chasing me. I need a place to take shelter. Why don't you just shoot them? <laughs> Isn't that the whole point of the gun? Wow, she's sure asking good questions. So glad I kept Brie around. So in order to prove her loyalty to us, she's gonna give us her gun. Does that mean I could just let her die outside? So I just introduced myself and Daisy wants to know, is there a Mrs. Florida man or is it Bud Light plus child support? Daisy, I'm glad you asked. I didn't get child support in my name for nothing. <laughs> It just zooms in on the can. Where? Nope, just me. You sell out bastard. Before the apocalypse, I was in the army. I wouldn't say I was prepared, but I've had enough training to survive up until now. Do they give out bedazzled belts in the army? Unfortunately, our bunker was invaded last week. That's probably how she lost her toe. My name is Daisy. I'm a 27 year old stripper. Okay, Daisy made it to 27 as a stripper. That means that she has the life experience of someone who's like 180 years old. Welcome Gandalf. Stripper? Well, I was a stripper. I guess I'm nothing now. You can still strip in the apocalypse. So she says that they converted the strip club into a bunker to survive the apocalypse. And then she says, since the joint already smelt like death, no one ever expected we were still alive in there. Once a week, we would go in pairs to do supplies run, see if we could find any food. I was on a supplies run this morning. And when I got back, I saw we were being invaded. I'm not even gonna ask about the gun because a stripper having a gun isn't really that big of a deal. There was just another knock at the door. Am I legitimately going to get a third girl in the first 10 minutes? Even he's like, another person, are you serious? Bree, do you happen to know where the bathroom is? Do not use that can. No. What the hell is this? It's like an anime assassin. What, the zombies go into a huddle and they were like, all right, listen, here's the plan. Anyone who's not hot gets eaten. Break. Another hot chick. If I let her in, that means I would have three different women to choose from every night. There is no way we're making it out of this alive. There is no plot in the history of mankind that goes this smoothly. I better ask something important. Are you a zombie? Are you a cannibal? Are you alone? I gotta know, are you a cannibal? No. <laughs> They come on in, that's it, that's her whole story. My husband and I found shelter in a cave by the beach and we had been living there until a crazy woman found us and tried to kill us. Oh God, what did she look like? She ate my husband, wait. She, was she alive when she ate your husband or was she a zombie and then she ate your husband? So what you're saying is you need a place to stay. People have run out of food. You're single and ready to make up. I'm not gonna lie with what's happened to me so far in this game. It's really hard to be as unsensitive as possible. Well, that's one way of looking at it. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> She'd be okay with that. 
She seems really hung up on this husband guy. What's matrimony anyway? Well, you know what they say. There's plenty of fish in the sea. You'll find someone else when you least expect it. When one door closes, another bunker door opens. How can you say that? We're in the apocalypse. I'm from Florida, woman. You're very pessimistic. Oh, hell no. That's the bitch who ate my husband. Now things are getting spicy. Did you just call me a bitch? I like how she's not defending herself against being a cannibal. She's defending herself against being called a bitch. Also, Daisy, where the hell did you get a strawberry shortcake from? You ate my pinky toe. So you're the real bitch here. Wait, was her eating your pinky toe in self-defense? Ew. Where did you get that cupcake from, Daisy? So you live with this cannibal? I think you misunderstand. We're all cannibals here. Well, I only just met her. Don't tell me you believe her story, Florida man. I thought we had a connection. I thought we were repopulating the earth together. Bree, let me ask you a question. When you see a child, do you see a young person or do you see a ham sandwich? Repopulating the earth. Don't be swayed, Florida man. She's just saying that to manipulate. I like how he's like, she could be trying to manipulate me, but Bree is more emotionally available. And then there's Daisy who took a whole cupcake from my stash without asking. One cupcake is meant to last two days. I'm gonna need to talk to you individually to get to the bottom of this, naked. <laughs> I guess we'll start with Daisy since she's so busy eating my goddamn cupcakes. I'd like to have a word with you about that cupcake. I guess that's fair. As you might have been able to tell, I'm not very happy with you eating my supplies. You didn't even ask. Bree said you could eat it. Now I have to go beat Bree again with that baseball bat. I have this hunger for something else right now anyway. Is it cannibalism? Well, the food here is limited, so you're just gonna have to wait. That moment when you cock block yourself. Oh. Did you mean? I should probably check on the suspected cannibals before we take things further. Daisy is the only one not being accused of being a cannibal, so if I'm going to reproduce with any of these women, she's my safest bet. Oh my god, what should I do? Go back to the other girls, sleep with Daisy, but keep an eye out, sleep with Daisy, and fall asleep immediately after. Let me go ahead and categorize these for anyone who's never played a game like this. Stay alive. Possibly stay alive. Die horribly. We're gonna die horribly. Okay. The following morning. Hey, I'm still alive. Wait, was that supposed to just be half a human being? Well, I knew I was right about one thing. Daisy was not the cannibal. Did you do this? <laughs> to the can. Chill, I was just asking. God, Michelle. I wake up to see the woman I slept with last night has been eaten to death. The bane of all Florida men. What was I supposed to think? Did you at least see who ate her? No way. What did the can say? Who could it have been? Daisy, no. She lasted 27 years as a stripper. Hey, Florida man. Bree, let me ask you something. Does that cupcake have any people in it? You ate Daisy and you slept with her. She's totally okay with this. And where's Kaya? I ate her too. You ate two people in one night, you monster. And you're eating my cupcake. How do you stay so thin? For fuck. <laughs> Yesterday, I had three women to choose from. Now I'm down to one and she's a cannibal. You took that away from me. I should have beaten you with that baseball bat when I had the chance. Are you going to eat me now too? No, of course not. I only ate Daisy and Kaya because I wanted you to myself. Is that such a crime? Yes. Yes, it is, Bree. Although I guess technically it's the apocalypse, so maybe it's not. Yes. Does this mean you don't want to be with me? Um... Yeah, I still want to be with you. I'm going to be amazed if that's one of the answers. I just want a taste of you. Whoa! So Brie was the cannibal. I don't know if I should kiss her or kill her. On the one hand, she could protect me. She's already shown herself to be quite capable of killing and eating two fully grown women. But on the other hand, there's a chance she might wake me up one day and eat me. These are real first world problems here, people. What should I do? Shoot her. Run away. Kiss her. The thing I love most about this is that in a normal episode of this game, this would totally make sense because it would be some girl that's met some billionaire guy or something. But in this instance, Kisser makes no sense and we're totally picking it. I've always loved cannibals like you, Brie. Dear diary, it's been four months since I sealed the deal with Brie. I'm still alive. Things have been good for the most part. She's pregnant now. So we're on our way to repopulating the earth. Unfortunately, she had a relapse again last week and ate my thumb. So that's put a bit of a strain on our relationship. But luckily, I still have one friend I can turn to whenever Bree does something cannibalish. The can? <laughs> Cannibal. There it is. It's still there. Yeah. 
Michelle, you've always been there for me and you haven't tried to eat me. Well, I went in planning to sleep with three different women and two of them ended up getting eaten by the third girl that I eventually got pregnant. This is the best episode I think I've ever played. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of episode. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.